Hello, Chief Skaters. My name is Kath and I am so happy to be back. I've missed you all. Honestly, I have. If you're new to our channel, our goal here is to live the Chief Skates way, debt free, cashed up and laughing. And my goal is to help you do that and to encourage you wherever you are in your journey to a debt free life. A couple of weeks ago, folks, in the early hours of one morning when I was lying in bed, not able to sleep, the radio was on and I wasn't really paying attention. I was just lying in bed, wanting it to bore me to sleep, really. And then there was this one voice with one comment and I woke right up because it terrified me. It put fear in my heart, absolutely terrified me. And it wasn't fear for me or my family, but fear for you guys, for the thousands of people who were listening, who may have taken that comment and thought it was wise, thought it made sense, thought it was a very smart thing to do. It wasn't. It was a very foolish comment. And if you think I'm being judgmental or superior or some such, that's fine. That's okay because it was a foolish comment. It was one of so many that I heard over the next few minutes that all were picking up on that one comment. And what was the comment? Do not keep food in the house. Just buy what you need for eating every day. Only buy enough for that day. Whew. Well, the next night I heard a similar thing. This time it was from a professional organiser and declutterer. Um, if that's a word, it doesn't really matter. It is foolish advice and it is false economy, people. The organiser suggested that, you know, if you get paid weekly, you should only have exactly enough food in your pantry, fridge and freezer for that week. No stock, no stockpile. If you get paid fortnightly, you keep enough for 14 days. If you get paid monthly, you keep enough for 31 days, but no more, no backup. You buy what you need each day. Keeping a pantry full of food is a waste of money. It's unnecessary clutter in your home and in your life. So can you see why I was terrified? Do you understand now when I say I was terrified? That is such bad advice. It's foolish advice. It is downright dangerous advice, especially today when inflation is rising above 3% and unemployment's 4.21%, according to the January 2024 figures. It's more now. Interest rates as of May 2024 are 6 to 7% for most mortgage holders. And someone was advising that it was foolish to keep the pantry full. I'm really sorry but not sorry, that man has never been hungry. He has never had to worry about how to put food in his children's lunch boxes. He's never had to worry if the $300 a month grocery budget will be enough, and it can be. Guys, over the years, I've come across this attitude so often, usually from men, mostly well off, if not downright wealthy, men and every time I've stood up and told them their advice was downright stupid now they may have been insulted that too bad because it you know it hasn't won me any friends a couple of these so-called gurus have called me out in the media I don't care I do not care their advice is stupid it is foolish it is dangerous you might be saying oh well, but why well, for a start, there's no wriggle room for an unexpected emergency. If you only have enough in the house for tonight's tea, breakfast tomorrow, and maybe lunch, what happens if the shop suddenly shut? Or you find yourself without access to your money? We've had both these things happen how many times in the last 12 months? Two years, three years, four years? People suddenly find they don't have access to their money or they're locked down, they can't go out. They don't have any cash on hand. Do they go hungry? Do they beg meals off family and friends? 
They knock on the neighbour's door and say, can we come for tea? Do they front up at a charity expecting to be fed? Look, you could be sitting there watching this and thinking, Kath, you are such a nutter. They'll be able to eat somehow. And perhaps they can. And maybe I am being dramatic. But my experience, I'm not. Have you had this happen to you? I haven't had no food in the house, but there have been times when all I've had in the pantry to feed my children was a box of wheat bix and the only thing in the fridge was a jug of milk. And the only reason we had milk was because we had a friend with a dairy. I've worked over the years with more than one family who used to live and shop one day at a time only to have their own version of a disaster upend their plan and they weren't able to shop that one day at a time. My advice, keep at least basic ingredients in your pantry. If you want to know what my basic ingredients list is, I'll put it in a link below. But it's basics. <laughs> and why, why do I suggest ingredients? Long-time followers will know because ingredients give you options. You can do a lot with basic ingredients simply by manipulating them into different recipes. Who knew? And you know what? Ingredients are cheaper than convenience and ready-made foods. So much cheaper. Now, before you get overexcited, I'm not suggesting that you run out and spend thousands of dollars on a whole lot of food today. That would be foolish. And if you're on a tight budget anyway, it could be disastrous. But I am saying think ahead. Plan ahead. Do a pantry stock take. Make a note of what you have on hand. Write up a meal plan using those ingredients. Make a shopping list. I have a perpetual shopping list and I absolutely love it because it saves me time, it saves me money, it saves me energy, it saves food waste. I love my perpetual shopping list. I discovered years ago, we are all creatures of habit. We all tend to buy the same things week after week after week. Occasionally, we'll add some special ingredient for a treat meal or the odd seasonal treat, you know, extra fruit for Christmas, baking, or whatever. But otherwise, most of us buy the same cereal, the same cheese, the same basic meat and fruit and veg every time we shop. So if you stop and realise you do this too, then creating a perpetual, that's a hard thing to say, perpetual shopping list is really easy. You just write down what you buy all the time. And if you have a perpetual shopping list, you will simply buy everything on that list every time you do your grocery shopping. Even if you already have some of it in the um, pantry, you will buy everything on the list when you go shopping. Guys, that is the easiest, the simplest, the cheapest way to build your stockpile and fill the pantry and do it quickly. Another side benefit is you are always going to know how much your groceries are going to cost because basic grocery items are cheaper and they don't go up every week, unlike the other stuff. If you don't believe me, try it. And you know what? It works across all styles of grocery shopping. So you can't say it won't. Allergies, it will work. Gluten-free, it will work. Vegan, it will work. Whatever. Perpetual shopping lists work, but I'm a little bit off track. What I want you to do is build a stockpile and keep a stockpile that will feed your family for a minimum of a month. Now, the British government just last week sent out warnings that people need to have a minimum of three months' food on hand. That was from a government Many of the European countries are doing the same thing. They're warning their citizens that they need to build a pantry and keep it stocked. Now, we're blessed here in Australia that food shortages that we've grumbled about haven't been so hard, really. I'm pretty sure not many of us have actually gone hungry. But you know what? That could change in an instant, especially because we've become a nation that imports a good percentage of our food where in the past we've been able to grow and produce most of it and export the excess. It's a bit of the reverse at the moment. So next time you shop, look at the basics and add one or two, perhaps an extra $5 worth. Throw them in the trolley. Or you might like to try 
doubling up on a couple of items. Tin tomatoes, get two tins instead of one. Tea bags, two packets instead of one. Half price sales are good for doing this. Whatever you do, just do it. Just do it. It doesn't matter how you do it, as long as you do it and build your pantry. Please don't listen. Please, please don't listen when those fools tell you that it's a waste to keep a pantry stocked. Because you and I know who's going to be going hungry in a crisis. It won't be you, it won't be me. It might might be Mr. Megabucks who, you know, only buys his fillet steak and asparagus spears on the way home. We know who it will be going hungry. Filling your pantry is a good investment. I've talked about this before. It's, it's a great, you get a great return on that investment. You don't lose when you fill your pantry with ingredients that you use. You can't lose. All right, now I will put some links to some pantry building posts below. And if you're a Cheapskates Club member, log in and view them. If you're not already a Cheapskates Club member, just click on the, the link below and you can join right now. Once you've joined and once you have activated your membership, you'll have 24-7 access to the entire member centre, including the entire article archive and the meal plan archive. 220 different meal plans in there at the moment and it increases regularly. And members can access them anytime. Just saying. Okay. It's been a joy being back. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch me tonight. Being back in front of the camera has been a real pleasure sharing about how easy it is to live the cheapskates way, how much fun it is, what joy it brings, how much less stressful it is, has been lovely. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would absolutely be honoured if you click that subscribe button and then the little bell um, so that we can notify you every time there's a new video. Videos are going to be hit and miss for the next few weeks, but we'll get over that. If you like the video, if you liked what I've talked about today, thumbs up would be much appreciated. That little, you know, giving us that thumbs up, that like, helps YouTube know that people are actually watching our video and that just makes it easier for other people to find us. Lastly, guys, sharing is caring. <laughs> if you know someone who might like or who might need this video, please share it with them. There's a little share button there. We don't harass them. It just sends them a link and then it's up to them. But these three things combined all make it easier for our channel to be found. And of course, the easier it is for people to find us, the easier it is for us to spread the message that it is not only okay to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing, but it is absolutely possible, even in the crazy, crazy times of 2024, and just one last thing, then I'll let you go. If you have um, any questions, pop them in the comments below me. I will do my best to answer them as they come in. Give me a little bit of time. Those things here are still a bit, bit wonky, um, but we're getting back on track slowly. And share your advice because that's what cheap scatters do. Okay. So have a great week, everyone. Happy cheap skating. And hopefully I'll have another video for you next week. Till then, bye.